let's discuss what is the introduction of labor policy 2018 and what is the background of punjab labor policy 2018 dear students poverty ko khatam karne ke liye aur sustained economic growth create karne ke liye koi rasta maujood nahi hai sawai employment opportunities create karne decent working conditions create karni chahiye employment employment opportunities create karni chahiye fair wages ho safety of the workers at workplace ensure ho social protection for all honi chahiye eliminating discrimination honi chahiye ensuring child and forced labor free workplaces ka qiyam mulk mein hona chahiye iske alawa jo importance jo di ja rahi hai वो ये है कि जो वल्डरेबल सेगमेंट ऑफ वर्कफोर्स है उनको ऑर्गेनाइज किया जाए यूनियंस की शक्ल में ताकि उनके राइट्स मेंटेन्ड हों और प्रोटेक्ट हों ये जो वर्कफोर्स को राइट्स अवेलेबल हैं माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दीज राइट्स आर नॉट ओनली ग्रंटेड अंडर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक ऑफ पाकिस्तान बट हैव ऑल्सो बीन रिएटरेटेड through pakistan's international commitments made from time to time by signing of international treaties and conventions on labor rights and basic social standards at the workplace and beyond as a matter of fact my dear students my dear students we are discussing punjab labor policy 2018 we are talking about the introduction and background of the punjab labor policy 2018 my dear students is zaman mein ek badi important baat hai jo gsp plus status ke mutalliq hai wo ye hai ke introduction of social clause in international trade and attainment of gsp plus status by pakistan has indeed further enhance the importance of labor rights and international labor standards this is as a matter of fact very pertinent fact to be noted by the students with a with the labor rights in pakistan now let's move on to discuss my dear students what is gsp plus status and how it is connected with the labor rights in pakistan my dear students pakistan acquired the status of european unions generalized system of preferences this is known as as gsp plus status which allows increased access of several eligible categories of pakistani products through incentives of duty free export to european union markets from 1st january 2014 my dear students this very gsp scheme is conditional upon pakistan to ensure ratification and compliance of 27 international conventions on human and labor rights my dear students this very scheme also focus that international labor organizations eight core standards must be implemented in pakistan in this regards my dear students the government of punjab is cognizant of the current state of labor rights in the province caused due to multiplicity of reasons including changing trends in working organizations ever changing management practices and patterns of production processes and is of the considered view that in this globalized competitive world the target of satisfying international buyers through ensuring international labor standards and basic labor rights is a major challenge for the emerging economies as a matter of fact my dear students my dear students the government of punjab is concerned with the social concerned with the socio economic well being of the people in one of the prime objectives of the present government which requires revitalization of economy through sustained efforts to increase the level of productivity 
promotion of investment and maximization of employment which is fruitful for both workers and employers through fulfillment of their genuine rights and enjoyment of reasonable benefits this is as a matter of fact by the students introduction to the labor policy introduction to the punjab labor policy 2018 thank you very much indeed